5 News, Alerting Arkansas, sponsored by American Storm Shelters. Severe weather season has already begun across Arkansas and Oklahoma. How bad will the storms be this year? Well, let's take a look at polar ice, ocean temperatures, and jet stream patterns. And then we'll give you our best guess on how many windstorms, hailstorms, and tornadoes may come to Arkansas this year with our Spring 2023 Severe Weather Outlook. Polar ice. You need cold blasts to help create storms, and many times it originates over the ice in the Arctic. However, it's been lopsided all winter and continues to be lopsided. Much of western Canada and Siberia still have a healthy ice and snowpack right now, while areas towards northern Europe are severely lacking ice heading out of winter. This should continue to allow cold air to hit the Rockies and then create storms over Arkansas. Water temperatures. Let's start with the Gulf and then let's take a look at the Eastern Pacific for La Nina and El Nino. The Gulf of Mexico is running two to three degrees above normal right now. As we've already seen, days with southerly winds really help bring in humidity quickly, an ingredient you need for storms. Now let's head south to the East Pacific. We have a weak La Nina and it's expected to continue to weaken to almost a neutral phase by May or the water temperatures are going back to normal. Generally during La Nina Springs, we get more tornadoes and more hailstorms. And that really was the case for hail last year. At one point, Arkansas was the state with the most hail reports per square mile. The jet stream can be more active over the Mid-South. However, some of those signals may be weaker this spring because the La Nina is looking a lot weaker. Let's go a little bit deeper and then we'll talk about our forecast. We narrowed all La Nina springs and isolated the ones that weakened to a neutral phase by summer. Compared to average, we generally found lower tornado counts, but slightly more hail and a few more windstorms. Now let's put it all together for our spring 2023 severe weather outlook. Tornadoes. We think we'll have slightly fewer tornadoes this year. On average in Arkansas, we get 22 tornadoes for spring and six in five country. Weakening La Ninas tend to produce fewer tornadoes, so this year we're expecting about 15 to 20 across the state and four to six in five country. Hail. We think the hail threat will be higher this year. Whether weak or strong, La Nina Springs tend to produce more hailstorms as the jet stream brings colder air south in the upper levels, especially since the snowpack in western Canada is still pretty healthy. Wind. We're forecasting a much higher wind threat. Expect several swings of temperature throughout the spring, and with those swings, there could be a lot of wind energy. Flooding. We expect more rainfall this spring, increasing our flooding threat. La Nina Springs tend to bring higher chances for heavy rainfall. One more for fun. What about snow? On average, in March, we still get about a half inch to an inch and a half of snow. However, in every weakening La Nina since the year 2000, we haven't received any measurable snow in March. So going off this, we're expecting below average snow in March. And unless something weird happens, probably no measurable snow in April and May. But you never know around here. That's our severe weather forecast. Even if we get slightly fewer tornadoes this spring, windstorms and hailstorms may make up for the difference. Whatever comes our way, though, we'll be tracking the storms by your side where you live. With Alerting Arkansas, I'm 5 News Chief Meteorologist Matt Standridge.